I'm John Skinner, and this supplements my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. Okay, if you uh, fish from the shore, this is something that may have happened to you. If it hasn't, uh, it probably will at some time. Just making a cast and look in the right-hand side of the screen. Here they come, a bunch of birds coming in low and fast. I drop my line, try to keep it under them. Uh, amazingly, one of them, um, boy, flies right into the line. So now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to very carefully reel this bird in. I don't want to put any stress on him. And this is an interesting bird. This is not just a, a seagull or something. Uh, this is a cormorant, a nasty seabird, and uh, it actually has dove underwater with the line, so I let him go, and now I'm just going to drag him, him drag him in easily. Um, try not to harm him, and uh, here he comes. He's fine, um, but this is a mess. You know, he, he's really tangled up in the line, and uh, so what do you do? Uh, and there's actually a trick to dealing with this, and, and that's what I'm going to show you in a minute. So what I'm doing right now is I'm getting a pair of line cutters ready because I don't know how bad he's tangled, and I'm kind of hoping that um, if he's not tangled bad, I might be able to just cut the line on both sides of the bird and be able to free the bird that way. Um, so and, and the other thing is the first thing I'm going to want to do here is get the lure cut off of him uh, or away from him. It's not actually on him. It's about four feet away from him. Um, and I want to make sure that that lure is not going to get involved in this mess. And already looking at this, I can see, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to just cut the line on both sides and free him that way. Um, you know, I can't possibly leave any line on the bird. All the line has to come off. But... Um, Yep, like I said, there's a there's a way to do this, so well, let's see what's going to happen here. And at the time I'm posting this, it's the fall run, and uh, yeah, you get sometimes you get these schools of fish, and there's a lot of seagulls on them working over the fish, and uh, people will cast into the schools of fish, and, and it becomes almost uh, unavoidable where you know a gull will accidentally fly into the line. So I thought this would be a good time to post a video like this. Okay, so what I'm doing there is, like I mentioned, I, I want to get that fishing lure out of the equation. So um, I cut my line, got a hold of the lure, so now the lure's out of there. Um, the next thing is, yeah, you know, I still got the rod, so let's get all the gear out of the way um, and then think about the bird. All right, so um, in a perfect world, you'd have like a blanket or a towel. I mean, all you need to do is put something like a, a blanket or towel or whatever you have over the bird's head. And if you do that, like magic, it will lay really, really still and let you do whatever it is you need to do. So, um, you know, obviously I'm not walking around with a blanket or a towel, but I've got my surf jacket and... Uh, Sure, I'll be cold for a little bit just to get this guy on his way. So, uh, yeah, I get the belt and the gear off and uh, make use of the surf jacket for this. Yeah, so I mentioned this being a nasty bird. Yeah, I'm afraid of it. Uh, <laughs> it's got this hooked beak, and it's used to swimming underwater grabbing fish. And, uh, yeah, I think it's immobilized. I don't want to find out. But, hey. That's all I needed to do. Now I can get to work. And you know what? Uh, boy, at first it didn't look too bad. You know, it looks like it could be just on the tail section. And I'm just going to pull very lightly. Like I said, I want to get every speck of line off the bird. And uh, yeah, but as I go in a little further, I see it's it's not quite that straightforward. What made it as bad as it is is when uh, it first flew into the line and it hit the water, the first thing it did was it dove underwater, and, and then it came up on top and it flopped all over the place. It's like worse than when a seagull just flies into it and lands and then you reel it in. So, yeah, this one's more involved, but uh, I'll just take my time here because you can see how well that uh, surf jacket over the bird's head is working. Um, it just lays there perfectly still. It, you know, I have this happen every couple of years. Something like this happens. Usually it's a seagull. This is my first experience with a cormorant, which is probably why I was a little more afraid of it than uh, I might be a gull. But, uh, yep, um, yeah, you can see it's definitely somewhat involved here. But you know what? 
just pulling very gently, it, it is coming off. However, um, it's looking like uh, the best thing to do in, in a couple spots there is cut the line and that will um, require less of the line to be pulled through and, and make this a little bit easier. All right, we're almost done here. Uh, hopefully this helps out a few people if they ever get in this situation. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Ready, set, fly birdie. Yay, come on. So these birds spend quite a bit of time underwater, and as soon as he got to the water, that's what he did. He went right under. Um, and then I kept an eye on him for a bit. He, he went out and came back up, went down, came up, and then uh, off he went. He flew away. So uh, happy ending. All right. Thanks for watching.